The Scale Assistant is a superb addition to your songwriting toolkit. You can set your song scale in the key editor and follow its lead, quantize a solo to the scale or play live in perfect tune. You can change the view to only see the notes of the set scale. You can even let the Scale Assistant analyze your MIDI recording and suggest the right scale. Now there are no more excuses for wrong notes. Let's check it out. So let me show you how the new Scale Assistant can help you create amazing MIDI parts even if you don't have any music theory knowledge or know how to play the keyboard and can also help you edit existing MIDI parts very easily. So let me play this track for you. I have a drum loop and I also have a loop that is in G minor. Okay, so let's play it. Now the challenge here is maybe I want to add a nice bass line, maybe with a retrolog instance. But I don't know what notes to play. Maybe I'm not a keyboard player or I have no musical theory knowledge. Okay, let me show you how easy it is to do this. First, let's set up our locators and let's create a MIDI part. Let's double click right here. And now let's open this MIDI part. Now, as you can see, when we open the key editor, now we have a new scale assistant tab here. And what I can do is I can choose the key that I want to play in. Let's try G minor since our loop is in G minor. Now once I do this we have quite a few options here. You will see that we have the show scale note guides which means that take a look at these grid lines. So when you click on this you will see that this grid changes. So what does this mean? So the notes that are light gray means they are the notes that are in key and the darker ones are the ones that are off key. Now let's go also to snap pitch editing. This means that if we start adding notes with our pencil tool, we cannot move them to wrong notes, okay? So they will always be in G minor. Now it gets even better. Let's say that you want to play live, but you're not a keyboard player. You can activate snap live input. And now if I activate my recording editor button, I can play on my MIDI keyboard, And I can play any note on my MIDI keyboard and Cubase will automatically correct my playing to be in key. So let's record a part, let's record a bass part. I'm going to play almost random notes. All I need to care about is the groove and the expression. Let's do this. And just like that, I was playing completely wrong notes here, but Cubase corrected my playing in real time. Now, let's try and do the same for this EP piano part, okay? I'm gonna do exactly the same, double click, and now I'm going to play some chords. And as you can see, I'm going to get correct chords every single time. So let's record something. Cool, right? Now let's try the same thing with the lead sound. I'm going to play it live first and I'm going to hit some wrong notes on purpose and I'm going to show you how Cubase can correct this. Let's do this. You know, Ugh, that was ugly. Let's have Cubase correct this. So I'm opening the key editor and now I can go to my scale assistant and I'm gonna say quantize pitches. Actually, as you can see, the key editor already shows us the wrong notes in red. In order to do this, you need to set your event colors to scale chords. And this way, the key editor will show you the wrong notes in red. Now, if I select quantize pitches, check what happens. Now, Cubase has 
corrected everything for us. Really good, right? So from now on, you don't have to worry about wrong notes anymore. You can also use the scale assistant using the chord track. In this case, I have this chord track here and maybe I want to create a lead part. I'm going to go into the key editor and for my scale assistant, I can use the chord track. I can say, use the chord track information. And then we have a few options. I can use the scales option, which take into account all the notes from the scale. Then I have the chords option, which allows me to play only the notes that are included in the chord or I can have a combination. And as you can see, the grid changes here as well when I change those things. So this is dynamic. So whenever we have a new chord in the chord track, the scale assistant will allow me to play only the correct notes. And one last thing that I want to show you for the scale assistant is that now you can create thirds, sixths, and pretty much any interval, and it will always be in key. Let me show you. So let's record a lead here. <laughs> If you activate the snap pitch editing like I showed you before, check how now I can create a second line for this synth. And you will see that this is going to be in key instead of just three semitones higher per note. Let's listen to this. It goes without saying that this is going to be extremely useful for film composers when you're creating ostinato lines for strings. Now you can have thirds, sixths, everything in one go without having to worry about transposing and changing every single note. But what about if you already have a MIDI part that you just played or you had a musician play for you and you don't know what key it is in? Let me show you. As you can see, we have some scale suggestions here. So right now, using these notes, the scale assistant tells us that we have four options for our scale. So it could be D major, B Aeolian, E blues, or B Aeolian. So maybe I want to select B Aeolian. And now as you can see, everything changes and all the notes look correct. Another very neat thing that you can do in the key editor with the scale assistant is that now I can go to my agents and say, only show pitches from scale assistant. So now I only have the pitches for that scale, which is really useful because you don't get distracted from all the other notes that are going to be wrong. So with Cubase 11 and the brand new scale assistant, you can be guaranteed that you're never going to have a wrong note in your arrangement ever again.